Let us talk about games of skill in this video. The problems asked on games of skill are similar to the problems asked on races. Now what is a game of skill? Well if we consider a game of 100 points, so we have 0 points still we have 100 points. The first user or the first one to reach this 100 points is the winner. It's similar to a race. Let, we can consider this a race of 100 kilometers and the first one to cross 100 kilometers is the winner. So here the first person to gain 100 points is the winner. Now let us look at the terminology. Let's say that person A is the winner here. A reaches 100 points and while A has reached 100 points there is some other person B who has reached 80 points. Right? So in such cases we can say that A can give B some points. How many points? Well B is 20 points behind A. So A can give B 20 points. Right? So if you have a statement which says that A can give B 20 points it means that A is 20 points ahead of B. All right? So based on this explanation let us solve some problems. In a game of 80 points A can give B 5 points and C 15 points. Then how many points B can give C in a game of 60? Alright the game is of 80 points. So these are 0 points and these are 80 points and A can give B 5 points. So if A has, I mean if A is the winner, B is 5 points behind A. That means B has 80 minus 5 that is 75 points. So this is B. right? And A also can give C 15 points. So if C is here, so 80 minus 15 is equals to 65 points. So C has 65 points. Now we have been asked how many points B can give to C in a game of 60. So we have a game of 60 now. So this is 0, this is 60 and B is at 60. So how many points it can give to C? So we'll first have to calculate how many points does C have when B has 60 points. Alright, so when B has 75 points, C has 65 points, right? And when B has 60 points, how much points does C have? Let that be x. So we can say that x is equals to 60 times 65 divided by 75, right? And that will be equal to 52 points. So C has 52 points. Now how many points can B give to C? Well, this difference, 60 minus 52, and that is 8 points. B can give to C. So option D is the correct answer. In a game of 100 points, A can give B 20 points and C 28 points. Then how many points can B give to C? Well, the game is of 100 points, so this is 0 and this is 100. Right? And A can give B 20 points, so if A reaches 100 points, B is 20 points behind A. So B is somewhere here. 20 less than 100 is 80. C is 28 points behind A. So we have C here. 100 minus 28 is 72. So C has 72 points and B has 80 points. You have been asked how many points can B give to C? Well, you might say that the difference between B and C's points is 8. Hence, B can give 8 points to C. But that is wrong. A person can give some points to another person only if he completes the game. In this case only if B reaches 100 then he can give points to C. So that gives us another situation. Right? This is 0 and this is 100. When B reaches 100 we will first calculate how much points does C have and then we will see the difference. Okay? So when B has 80 points C has 72 points. right? So when B will have 100 points, 
how many points will C have? Let those be x. So x is equal to 100 times 72 divided by 80 and that will come out as 90. So C has 90 points. Right? Now if B has 100 point and 100 is the end of the game and C has 90 points, how much points can B give to C? Well 100 minus 90. So 10 points are the number of points that B can give to C. So option B is the correct answer. At a game of pool, A can give B 15 points in 60 and A can give C 20 points in 60. How many points can B give C in a game of 90? Well, A can give 15 points to B in 60. What does that mean? Well, it means that the game is of 60 points and A gives B 15 points. So this is 0, this is 60 and A, if he is at 60 points, he can give B 15 points. So B is somewhere here and B's value is 60 minus 15. Right? 60 minus 15 is 45. So B has 45 points. It has also been said that A can give C 20 points in 60. So C is here. C, how many points does C have? Well, 60 minus 20, that's 40. So we have all the points of A, B and C now. We have been asked how many points can B give C in a game of 90? So here the game is of 90. So 0 to 90. And if B reaches 90, how many points can he give to C? So let the number of points with C be X. Now we can calculate X first. So if B has 45 points, C has 40 points. Right? Now if B has 90 points, how many points does C have? Well, C has the points will be equals to 90 times 40 divided by 45. Right? 45 times 2 is 90, so x is equals to 80. So C has 80 points. Now how many points can B give to C? Well, this difference. So 90 minus 80 and that's 10 points. So 10 points B can give to C if the game is of 90 points. Option C is the correct answer.